friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on advanced Q&A of ISTQB Foundation. This was another question which was asked by one of our viewers uh, about boundary value analysis. And I've just taken this question in order to add more value to your preparation and understand how typically the question could be asked in the examination. So the question here is from boundary value analysis and it says, the digital thermometer uses seven colors to show the ambient temperature. Each color spans over a range of just five degrees. That means each range is limited to just five degrees. And the moment you move ahead with next set of degrees, that is another five, you have a different color being represented for that. With an operating minimum and maximum temperatures of minus 15 degrees to 60 degrees. Now, don't forget team here when it comes to the mathematical number line, the minus goes uh, in a descending order and then it increases to the positive number. So you go with minus 15 to minus uh, 11, then minus five, zero as a neutral, and then plus one, plus five, plus 10, plus 15, and so on up till 60 degrees Celsius. Which of the following value is least likely, that means uttermost not to be considered to be the boundary value analysis when we create a tabulation for this and least likely to have been identified when applying the boundary value test design technique. So now all you have to do is quickly figure out the multiples of five, okay? Uh, for example, something like this, what you see on the table right now, I've created a simple table for you to understand because not everything can be populated because we have a lot of ranges here. So I've just created three ranges on the left and three on the right and in between that I've put three lines, that means it continues uh, till we reach to that value. So if you see here, I started on the left with minus 15, which is the extreme most left range, minus 15 to minus 11, minus 10 to minus six. So these are the values which you will be creating as the range and then minus five to neutral, that is zero. So this is what it means by saying the question that each color spans for a range of just five degrees. So each set of five degrees, you will have one particular range and C1 represents the color one, C2 is color two as an output. So of course you have different colors for different ranges. Uh, probably, you know, the question has a mistake here because not all the ranges can be covered by seven because they say each span covers one color and there are only seven colors. So of course this question is not as per the new syllabus. This is from the old syllabus and has some kind of anomalies. Okay, but seven colors is not our concern. Let the output be anything. We generally measure the inputs. Now, if you see here, I've got three ranges uh, on the left and just three more ranges from the extreme right, 46 to 50, 51 to 55, and 56 to 60. Our main intention here is to understand what could be your boundary values, right? And you have to pick that one option which is not or least likely to be a boundary value. And for that, you just have to figure out the numbers. Uh, I think it's, it's very simple, like 15 to 11 on the left. So 15 is starting range and 11 is the closing range of that particular range and then the left boundary of the second range that is minus 10 to minus six. So you just have to figure out the numerical values in the multiple of fives and the next extreme values will be called as the boundary value. So here, if you see our boundary values are 15, 11, 10, six, five, zero, 46, 50, 51, 55, 56 and 60. All right, so what is that we have to pick here from the options is we have got 60 degree, we have got 12 degrees, we have got zero, we have got 25. So of course, 60 is one of our extreme boundary values. So that will be considered. Zero is one of our boundary value in the third range. 12, 12 does not come closer to 11 or 15. So that's most likely to be an invalid boundary value. And uh, 25 is of course a boundary value because it will come on the extreme side of any one of the ranges where it will be probably between 21 to 25. So 25 is your boundary value. Thus 25 also exists as the right answer. But now, the only thing here is we are looking for the least likely option to be identified as boundary value. And here we are talking about two point analysis and they have not specified. The reason is this is an older pattern question. And in the previous labels, we never had something called as two point or three point analysis or boundary values. So and that's, it's just that simple. You just have to put your uh, basic analytical skills at this point of time to understand that how exactly uh, the multiples of five and the what kind of numbers will be there in order to judge that which one of this is a boundary value. So the right answer here is of course, 12 degrees Celsius, which is not a boundary value analysis, but 60, zero and 25 
are extremely on either left or the right boundary of each ridge. So that's how you go for the right answer here. Well, so that was just a quick question to answer your you know, question there. Uh, this was one of our viewers asking me this question from probably some of the sources. But yeah, just make sure that when you're looking at these sources, you at least have that judgment skill that uh, what is that you have covered, what is that could be wrong. But yeah, because a lot of questions are from old pattern syllabus. So please don't just rely on them or strictly, you know, follow the right answers. Don't don't challenge your confidence is what I mean to say. All right. Just be confident with whatever you're doing and you will be good with your learnings and it you know, knowledge what you have from the tutorials. All right, him. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Uh, we will be getting back to you with another sample question, which will help you more to understand better. And uh, I'll be getting back. So make sure that you have. Well, so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.